Hi everyone, welcome to Boxing Block Center. As usual, you know, we give you guys nothing but bangers. Okay, if you are new to this channel, uh, make sure you please like the video, this video subscribe to the channel for more extraordinary bangers. And yeah, let's get to it. So, um, the current WBC Everweight uh, Champion Taxin the Gypsy King Fury was asked if water is more dangerous than Joshua. Fury replied saying, 100%. Joshua is not dangerous at all. He's like a big cuddly baby. He couldn't hold a candle to the Gypsy King. There's only one undefeated champion. Me. Unbeatable, untouchable, and unbreakable. <laughs> I love in Japanese, man. Let me, of course, invite my brother right here, Olajide, to give his quick take on this particular statement from the JC King Fury. What's up, bro? Yeah. Yeah, hello. <laughs> It's a fury, Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury. Um, I don't even know the same other man. Because obviously, this is the thing that for, for me personally, I feel Tyson is trying to see how he can start the mind games with AJ from now. And what I see is just pure mind game, two things at a time pure mind game and at the same time trying to sell the next fight with Deontay if that is going to go on still so he's trying to do the two at the same time because each of the two is going to be his next fight and right now he's just trying to see how he can pull up the mind games because obviously his mind games are on both of them because if he says Deontay Wilder is dangerous Deontay Wilder will still believe he's dangerous and Deontay Wilder would believe on his danger and might not do too much work but at the same time trying to play mind games on AJ trying to see how we can get into AJ's head at the same time because you know to my girl boy if you say let's be sincere with it now like come on you can't say AJ is not dangerous at all because why you haven't been in a fist battle with AJ you've been there with him when he was an amateur in training camp when he did some damages to you which he did he didn't deny but in terms of coming to reality on fist fight and that he hasn't been there with aj so he does not know how dangerous aj is he's been there with Deontay on two different occasions and this is the thing there now I and mean, we're going to be realistic in that in the first fight with Deontay, Deontay was only able to hit fury flush three or four times three times i think in the first one in the second one, Deontay Wilder was able to eat Fury Flush more than eight times. So Deontay caught Fury more in the second fight. So if it was that dangerous, you won't fight him. You won't even be looking into wanting to fight him again. If it's as dangerous as he called him to be. But this is Fury we've always done, man. trying to play our mind games before anything. And this mind game got Deontay in so many ways. So he's just one of his mind games playing on both of them. Because saying the Antawada is more dangerous, the Antawada will look at like, yeah, you know, it's still so dangerous and that and that and that and that. But at the end of the day, that's another way of him getting into the Antawada's head. Saying AJ is whatever, whatever it is, and that way of just, you know, getting into AJ's head as well. It's just this kind of thing we kind of, we kind of used to, you know, fury in that kind of way. One minute AJ has done this, next minute AJ has done that. So it's normal, it's normal. So I'm not surprised with you, but at the end of the day, when you get there with both of them, you will know it's more dangerous. Getting there with AJ will know if it's dangerous or not. I'll leave it there. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it as usual. So, Ta Jagwe. Yeah, man. Your take on this on Tyson Fury saying water is more dangerous than. Anthony Joshua, the current two time you defied every week king of the whole universe. You know, what I got from that is, you know, a lot of you days, right? What I got from that is his mind games. Um, I believe, 
I I I believe Tyson Fury. I don't know why he always goes for mind games, and especially when mind games doesn't work on everybody. You know, uh, Tyson Fury uh, from, from the start of his career, mind games, mind games, mind games, mind games, especially with those powerful boxers. You know, um, the only person that can defeat AJ is AJ. Uh, my games doesn't work on AJ, so yeah, that could get thrown out the door. AJ is a man of few words. You don't even know what he's thinking most of the time. So, like I said, the only person that can defeat AJ is AJ. Tyson Fury is long defeated. If you need mind games to win to win a battle all the time, you know, you're, you're long defeated. Like I've been saying over and over again, people people want to write off AJ and automatically think you're the uh, you're the, you're gonna defeat him, even KO AJ when we all clearly knew who Wilder was before you even fight him. We just couldn't believe you were the one who was gonna do it. You know, I thought AJ was gonna be doing dude, or at least somebody who could. Who has a decent chin I could punch because let's be honest Wilder doesn't have a fucking doesn't have a freaking chin let's be very honest with that he doesn't have a chin at all and I was just I was just waiting for that one person I just didn't think it was you I thought the fight was gonna go 12 rounds at least if not Wilder was gonna catch you but you were the one who did it took took out Wilder's chin you know so let, let's let's be honest with ourselves when 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 you call when you call out AJ he, he's a big colleague there. You know you don't freaking mean that. Because what, what, he's been calling you out and you have yet to really respond the way the way uh, uh, boxing fans want you to respond. Yes, you know what, AJ? I'm going to take care of Deontay Wilder and I'm coming after you, you big dosser. You know, you can't do nothing to him. Nope. He has the, you got to look at it, right? He doesn't have that same energy at all. The energy is nowhere to be found. It's, it's little words here, little words there. Let me call out AJ and his and his and his uh, and his wife. Maybe they could come work out. Get, get that crap out of here. He doesn't want to work out with you and your wife. Okay, that's that's for you and your wife. I don't care about working out. How about we get a fight going on? That's what you need to talk to me about. And obviously Tyson Fury knows it. His dad, Tyson Fury's dad knows it. They 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 all know it. They know AJ will be Tyson Fury's toughest fight to date. They 100% know it, okay? Because you can't do none of that uh, 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 pity patter shit. They're going to watch you like a hawk. Tyson Fury's mind games, all those allegations against Tyson Fury is not going to work. I keep telling these fans over and over again, watch what happens the day AJ fights Tyson Fury. You guys bet you don't, don't do I'm not going to be surprised because I 100% believe AJ is going to destroy Tyson Fury, man. You know, and that's where I'm gonna leave it. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. As usual, you guys are damn right. For me, I would just quickly, I would just say, listen, Tyson Fury, of course, playing others, my games will not, I said, will not be effective against Joshua because Joshua already know that. Joshua already know what it feels like. You know, he knows how he react to things. He knows his strategy and his move and all that. And believe me, when a fight happens, Joshua is going to be ready, 100% re ready for testing the Jesus King Fury. So guys, like the video, share, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram at Boxing Block Center, on Twitter at Boxing Block, and as well on Facebook at Boxing Block Center. Stay blessed, stay hungry, stay humble, guys. Cheers.